Hello and welcome to CabSat for 2018. With me now is Excellency Dr. Al Halabi. Welcome to uh, CabSat TV. And of course, you are in charge of the UAE Space Agency. Uh, doing a keynote address here today. Talk me through some of the things you discussed. It's, it's not just about space agency, it's about uh, teaching, isn't it? Science and education. Uh, well, thank you for this uh, opportunity. Uh, yes, in the UAE Space Agency, we have a number of objectives. Uh, one of them is how to build capacity. Uh, believing that uh, people is the key and the backbone of our any successful space program. As you know, space requires very talented, skilled people. And we are uh, paying attention on this. So we have a number of initiatives to uh, inspire, to engage, and to educate and train and retain as well, you know, people, talented people in space. And through that uh, number of initiatives, we um, host, for example, you know, astronauts, and we take them to schools to inspire our young people and try to steer them towards STEM education. Now, regardless where they go, if we hook them through space to STEM education, this is uh, a good thing. Uh, plus, you know, we organize a number of uh, competitions uh, with the cooperation with uh, international space agencies. So we are uh, very active in this area. And we try not to just only inspire our uh, people here in UAE, but in our region as well, and in the world. You say you're very active. You're a very young space agency, and you didn't model yourself on anyone else around the world, did you? Well, actually, uh, when, we, uh, uh, when the government decided to uh, establish a UAE Space Agency, we're giving the task to design. So we thought, OK, let's tour the world and try to bring a model that can work here. But unfortunately, we could not. So we came back and we said, and we said, okay, let's design something for us, can be run by us, and can do things that consider, you know, our culture, our uh, way of doing things. And we came up with a, a model that it's a small space agency in terms of size, but uh, agile, dynamic, active, and efficient. And it's the space agency for tomorrow. It's not even for today. It's designed for tomorrow. And now we are proud of my uh, team. We have uh, very uh, talented people, very passionate people, very excited. They come very early and they leave very late. And tell me about the, uh, the Space Science Technology Center. That's quite exciting as well, isn't it? Well, actually, we managed in the last uh, three or four years to establish a number of uh, space research centers. Uh, there are three uh, space research centers were established. Uh, and actually, recently, uh, Zainat Sheikh Mohammed Bar Rashid Vice President and uh, Prime Minister launched Mohammed Bar Rashid Future Research Center. And they decided to take space science as a first uh, round in their work. So they will do uh, space uh, science research. Uh, plus, you know, some of our universities established their own uh, space uh, science uh, labs and uh, centers. Now, because we will have opportunity through our uh, exploration uh, mission to Mars, which is the hope, that will generate wealth of, of data. Space science will come from that data. And we just decided, we just signed uh, cooperation agreements with more than 200 uh, international space uh, science institutions and universities to share that data. But also we have to prepare in the country here. So we are well prepared for that data to come and we will process it. We will share it with the world for the benefits of the world. The enthusiasm of the UAE Space Agency is, in is uh, infectious. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Now, for the latest, of course, from everything from CabSat and indeed the satellite communication conferences, head now to cabsat.com.